Hi everyone, this is Purse Doll here and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be filming a requested video and the request was for a review on this bag here. And I haven't zoomed in but it's actually quite a small bag. This is the Balenciaga Mini City Bag in the metallic edge design with the pebble leather with silver hardware. And once upon a time I did own the exact same bag um, in black with the gold hardware but I decided to get the one in the silver hardware because I think it works better for my everyday, everyday outfits. Um, if you want to see a comparison between the two I will leave a video of that in the description box below and then we'll get started on the review of this bag. And before I get started on this, actually, I want to show you um, the, another bag that I'm going to compare it to because I have two everyday bags. This is one of them, and the other one is this one here. This is the Burberry Payton, Payton Clutch, and I own this in black, and I also have it in a couple of pinks. And so I really like both of these um, bags, and I'll show you um, what can fit inside because I think I got some requests on this bag as well. Okay, so first let's get started on talking about um, why I love this bag. And um, I have sort of one reason but I have to explain the reason. So I like this bag because it's almost like a combination of bags that I've had in the past that I've loved that for one reason or another I had to let go of but this one kind of encompasses it all. So um, if you've been following my channel you might know that my very first semi designer bag was a Marc Jacobs doctor bag. It's called the Mini Groovy bag and when I got that bag um, I used it every day and it was similar in the sense that it was a thick pebbled leather with um, silver hardware, two top handles, and a long strap. And the long strap is, I think, supposed to be a shoulder strap, but if you're petite, you can um, make it cross, you can wear it crossbody. There are some adjustments, but I feel like the default setting kind of folds the leather a certain way. So if you were to try to change the setting, I don't know if you're going to have a weird crease in your leather, but um, the strap works well. I think over the shoulder for sure and crossbody for some. And so my Marc Jacobs bag was very similar in that same regard, although I think my Marc Jacobs bag was bigger than this. And I wore that every day for the very longest time. And then when I outgrew that bag, I did give it away, but I still kind of missed having that sort of everyday black bag. And so this kind of does it for me in that regard, um, but it's a more updated version in my opinion. And the second bag that it reminds me of is my Prada. Sapiano Luxe Tote in I think the smaller the mini version. I can link a review of that in the description box below. I don't currently own that Prada bag anymore but pretty much it was also a rectangular bag with two top handles and a long strap and the reason why I sold the Prada one is because um, it was a little bit too boxy, a little bit too structured for me and I felt like I was going to crush it. Whereas this one here you can see that it's kind of holding its shape like it's sitting up on its own but it's also very squishy and it's like a leather that you just want to touch. And so it's kind of like the, the size and shape of the Prada bag, but a lot more casual. So that's what I like about it. And finally, this bag also reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Speedy. And I know that that's probably the most far-fetched because it doesn't look like um, a Speedy bag. But what I mean is like the way that I feel when I'm carrying it. Like I, like the handles that sort of have a hinge at the top that I can carry like, like this or on the crook of my arm reminds me of the Speedy. And if you had the Speedy B version, it's kind of like you have the strap. And so that's the way that I use it the way that I feel when I use it kind of reminds me of a Speedy. Um, yeah, so that's one of the reasons, that's kind of like one big reason why I like this bag. It reminds me of bags that I've had in the past that I really liked. Um, so another reason why I like the bag is because it, it holds all of my essentials and yet it's not, it's at that perfect sort of like um, size in which I feel like if it was any bigger it might be a little bit too heavy. I know for some of you it might not but I'm very I guess I, I would say that I'm pretty sensitive to heavy heavy like things that are that are weighed really heavy heavily. And so um they do make this bag now in a Balenciaga small city bag which I think is a really great um size if you wanted to size up. And they also make this in a nano city. But the nano city is only about like this big and I've seen it in person. It's very very darling. It kind of reminds me of my Prada uh, mini rectangular bag that I recently sold. Um, so it's very cute, but definitely not as functional. Um, so I'm just going to give you some measurements right now. So in terms of inches, it is nine inches. Wait, it's about nine inches across. And if you want it in centimeters, because I know that's helpful um, for some, it's 22 and a half centimeters. In terms of its height to where um, the, the handles start, it's about six and a half inches or it's about 16 and a half centimeters and if you look at its side it is sort of has this triangle shape which is probably the reason why it can stand up so nicely um, it is 
about eight centimeters at the base and about a little bit more than three inches um, in inches. And so as you get up on the bag, it does get tighter. And so um, I don't zip this bag at all, even though it does come with a zipper, but because it's so tight, I don't usually worry about anything falling out of it, but it definitely has a zipper that it's kind of hard to maneuver because it's very inside the bag. And it also has a tongue flap that you can have it hang out if you want it to have a little bit more of an edgy style, but I like it tucked in. And I'll quickly show you what I can fit in the bag. So I have my sunglasses and these are quite big, resting on the top. And then I have my Louis Vuitton clay that I use as my wallet with my keys hanging in them. And so if you have a full size wallet, I feel like that's gonna take up most of the bag in terms of its length. And so you might need to downsize your wallet if that is the case. Um, I also have this here, which is just like a Vera Bradley um, card case that I actually put coins in. I got it from Disney. Let me see if I can focus in on that. It's got some cute little Mickeys on it. So I feel like this is the size of a bigger Louis Vuitton clay. So you can use a bigger clay as a wallet if you want. Um, so I have my coins in here that fits in there. I would usually have my cell phone on. I don't have it with me right now. Right now I also have this notebook and this is a passport notebook. So pretty much the size of a passport. So you can fit your passport in there if you want to travel with this bag. And finally I have my makeup case over here. So this is my Prada makeup case. It's quite small, but it, it fits perfectly as my bottom base. And I think that's it. There's also a zippered pocket inside that I keep loose hair ties in, but you can probably fit, secure some things in there, like a, if, you were, if you had jewelry you wanted to put away for the time being, or like some cards you didn't want to carry with you, you can fit that in there. And so yeah, I really enjoy this bag. And I will um, do some modeling shots of it uh, in, my next, in my next clip. But I just wanted to quickly show you it in comparison to the Burberry paint clutch. And so if you compare the two in terms of like the size of the rectangular face, it's very similar, but the paint clutch is obviously very flat. And what I would fit in this bag is a lot less. So I would put in my clay and my keys, maybe some blotting papers and a lipstick and a comb. So that would be the difference. So this is if I was carrying light for the day and a little bit heavier. If I really, really need to carry a lot, you know that I would carry my long shot bleu pliage tote. So it kind of goes like long shot bleu pliage tote, then this one, and if I was downsizing, then to this one. And this one's actually very similar to um, my Chanel wallet and chain. Just kind of, I just kind of brought it up just to show you the size difference because I know the wallet and chain is a very popular bag, so a little bit bigger. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, if there's any further questions, I can um, answer that in the description, I mean, sort of in the comment section below, and then I will see you um, with these bags again in a couple of outfits that I will show you. So stay tuned for that, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Hi again, so I'm going to just show you how the Balenciaga mini city bag looks um, when it's worn. So once again, just for reference, I am 5'2", and so this is what it looks like crossbody. Um, when I'm wearing this crossbody, I find this like, um, what do you call this? This like shoulder strap here with this little pad. The pad makes it very comfortable um, when you're wearing it this way. So it kind of looks like that. Just kind of hits at my hips. Um, but when I do wear this over the shoulder, let me just take this off, over the shoulder on one shoulder, I find the pad sometimes makes it slip off, but this is how it looks. Kind of like that. And of course you can wear it um, on the crook of your arm like this. And you can also hand carry it like that. And let's see what would happen if you let this hang down. I guess if you let this hang down, it's still fine. It doesn't touch the ground or anything like that. Yeah, so I think it works a lot with um, any everyday outfits with jeans. Um, I'm just pairing this with a white blouse and so it kind of goes and you can also dress it up a little bit as well and dress it down. I definitely feel like it's kind of a nice little casual bag. Okay, now I'm going to show you quickly the Burberry Payton Clutch. And so when I wear it over the shoulder, it kind of fits at a nice comfortable spot as well. And when I wear it cross body, it hits right on my hips, which is really nice as well. And so I like both of them for everyday bags. This one, if I want to be just completely hands-free and have it sort of like sit really close to my body. I really like this. Um, if I'm going light, if I need to carry a few more items or if I am in the mood to carry a bag sort of like on the crook of my arm or by its handle, I go for the mini city bag. And so I'm really loving these two black everyday bags. 
Anyways, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more purse-related videos, and I will talk to you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!